But let's be very clear about something. These attacks, monstrous as they are, were not a direct attack against the United States or one of its treaty allies. And just so there's no confusion, let me assure everyone that if a weapon of mass destruction were used against the U.S. or one of our allies, Congress would react immediately with an authorization for the use of force in support of an overwhelming response, I would introduce the resolution myself. So no leader in North Korea or Iran or any other enemy of the United States should take any solace if the U.S. were not to respond to these attacks with an action against Syria. We will never, never tolerate the use of chemical weapons against the United States or any of its treaty allies. I've never been an isolationist, and a vote against this resolution shouldn't be confused by anyone as a turn in that direction. But just as the most committed isolationists could be convinced of the need for intervention under the right circumstances when confronted with a threat, so too do the internationalists among us believe that all interventions are not created equal. All interventions are not created equal. And this proposal just does not stand up. So I'll be voting against this resolution. A vital national security risk is clearly not at play. There are just too many unanswered questions about our long-term strategy in Syria, 